who should start for the Patriots at quarterback? The answer is Cam Newton. Let me say, Stephen A., what you said off the top was true. Mac Jones, I thought last night was good, bordering on very good. And that's the first time he's seen competition against another NFL team. And we got to see it, and that was impressive. You have to keep in mind, in the preseason, you're not rolling out the whole playbook. You're not playing against starters. Mac Jones wasn't. He was playing against second and third stringers. But he looked good, bordering on very good. It's a nice start. In the history of the NFL, never has a first-year starting quarterback ever been in the Super Bowl, has never taken a team to the Super Bowl, let alone won one. Now, records are made to be broken. It's going to happen eventually. Is it going to happen with Mac Jones on this New England team? I don't think so. Could it happen with Cam Newton? Could they potentially win the Super Bowl with Cam Newton? Yeah, I think they could. I, you have to keep in mind, Stephen A., I know it's my greatest hits, volume four, but I'm going to say it again. Two plays away last year, off a catastrophic injury, missing a season, new team, no weapons, nine defections off the defense because of COVID, no preparation, practice facilities shut down, and then he got COVID mm -hmm. two plays away from nine wins. Cam also, I thought, looked pretty good last night. I'm going with Cam. I'm not sold on Cam Newton, the passer. I never have been. You know that. I've been consistently on that tip his entire career. He has ran the football effectively. He is an athletic stud and freak of nature. There is no question about that. I think he has tremendous leadership skills and can galvanize folks, and he doesn't get enough credit for that. I get all of that. But I've always had a problem with his accuracy, and I think that when you have an accuracy issue, even though he did complete 65% of his passes last year and the last time he played a full season healthy under Nerv Turner as his offensive coordinator in Carolina, he was completing 67% of his passes before he got hurt. But for the most part throughout his career, he's hovered around 60% completion percentage. And I think when you're the successor to Tom Brady, that's just something that's going to count against you because your lack of accuracy is something that ultimately is going to be magnified. That's number one. Now let me get to Mac Jones. I will remind everybody that this first-round pick of the New England Patriots, probably one of the rare individuals that was literally craving the drop to number 15, didn't even <coughs> want to be a top three or four pick because he wanted to fall to the New England Patriots. Well, let's understand why that is. Number one, Mac Jones threw 41 touchdowns and four interceptions his last year at Alabama. The three years he was a quarterback, his last year at Alabama, obviously he's a starter. 41 touchdowns, four interceptions. He also won a national championship playing for Alabama. Who coaches Alabama? That would happen to be Nick Saban. Who is close with Nick Saban? That would happen to be Bill Belichick. When you talk about dogged individuals who are fixated on the on, on sport of football, who are, is, uh, who are, who are detailed-oriented <clears throat> to the umph degree, you're talking about those two coaches. And so coming from that system, transitioning to the NFL, that's why Bill Belichick was comfortable taking Mac Jones, because this guy has spoken at Alabama. He's been to Alabama. He actually did a little documentary, a little show with Nick Saban about the sport of football and coaching and what it entails and what have you. They obviously are very close. They know each other very well, have similar expectations of their players. All of those things come into play, Max. And that's why I'm looking at Mac Jones and I'm saying, excuse me, they believe this dude is going to be ready much sooner than later. And we saw last night, 13 to 19, that dime that was an incompletion to Christian Wilkinson. We saw all should've of that. Should have caught that ball. He should have. 34-yard yeah. pass. That was a touchdown pass. He should have caught that ball. I'm not sleeping on Mac Jones at all. I'm not sleeping on him. I don't think I am. Um, what we've seen in terms of the blueprint of success in the NFL recently with young quarterbacks, and they are starting earlier and earlier in their careers than they used to, a lot of that's because people see that rookie contract as the window to make hay because you can spend money elsewhere and put a team around them. And a lot of it's because they're just better quarterbacks at younger ages, I think. Mac Jones is not a mobile guy. He's going to have to do it with his arm and making quick decisions and all that. And if you look at the quarterbacks who succeeded early in their careers, and of course the best example is Patrick Mahomes, right? It might be the best ever. They didn't start year one. 
Maybe they were ready. Maybe Mahomes was better than Alex Smith year one. But the long-term projection for Mahomes would be better if he held the clipboard that whole first year, which is what happened. I believe the same is true with Mac Jones. And you couple that with Bill Belichick's lack of patience for rookies, a rookie quarterback. I can't see Cam not starting. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.